The melody sequencer allows you to control the individual channels in a multi-channel melody or solo. When you import a MIDI file into Band in a Box, all of the individual instruments will be put together on the melody track. For example, this MIDI file has bass, drums, electric piano, and a trumpet. If I import this file into Band in a Box, all of these instruments are now combined onto the melody track. And it sounds like they are all playing through the trumpet patch, including the drums. This is because all of the instruments are playing on the same channel. So clicking on Melody, Track Type, and setting it to Multi-Channel will allow each individual instrument to play on its own channel. The drums are playing through channel 10, like drums should, and the bass, piano, and trumpet are playing on their own channels as well. So each instrument is now separate and using the right patches. I am going to add some real drums to this. Now I hear the real drums, but the MIDI drums are still on the melody track. I can turn down the level of the MIDI drums using the drums track fader, but that also controls the real drums volume. So this is where the melody sequencer comes in handy. Just click on the sequencer button and choose sequencer on melody track. Now Band in a Box will show you what instruments exist inside the melody track, divided by channel numbers. To simply stop the MIDI drums from playing, I can just uncheck play. And now it is just the real drums playing. Clicking on this button gives some options for each channel. So I can remove the MIDI drums completely by clicking on delete. If you import a MIDI file and you just want the melody, no bass, drums, or any other backing tracks, then click on Isolate as Melody. This moves all of the other instruments to the soloist track. If you already have something else on the soloist track and you don't want to interfere with it, then you could instead just delete each instrument except for the main melody. When leaving the sequencer window, Band in a Box is asking to switch the melody track back to a single channel because it only detects notes on channel 4, so I will click Yes. So now, just with the main melody from the MIDI file I imported earlier, I can choose a real style to go with it. And maybe a high-Q patch, so it sounds a little better combined with real instruments.